Hey guys, it's Charlene. I'm going to start out right now by saying the new holiday release from Honey Bee Stamps is one of the cutest holiday releases I've ever seen. I'm going to be using today the Lovely Layers Vintage Reindeer. Here you can see these dies cut out all these different layers. So I'm going to start out by cutting out all of my pieces in different colors of cardstock. I've cut everything out and all of my different pieces of cardstock here. You can see I've kind of kept them separated along with the die. So that way I can, if I need to recut pieces, I have the die right there. And now as I go through, after I put together each piece, I'll put the die back on its sheet. So I'll start with this small area that goes on the neck and I'll add some glue on the back. And there is an embossed line on here, which shows you exactly where it's supposed to go. Next, I'll take this entire piece and add glue to the back and I'll place this directly over the largest dark brown piece. And now I'll put these dies back on my sheet. Next here, I can put the face together. So I'm gonna take the main face piece and add some glue to the back. And again, this will set right in where that embossed line is. And for this ear portion, I'll just add some glue directly to the head piece. And then I can use my wax pickup tool to drop that in. And I'll repeat that for these other small pieces. So we have the eye. And then we're also gonna put our little nose right here. So I'll pick this up and place it with my wax tool uh, right along those embossed lines and the little nose. The top of the eye has a little piece that goes and you'll see it fits perfectly right over the top of that eye. So I used a slightly lighter shade of brown for this. And the eyebrow goes right along the top here of the lighter portion of the face. So that will line up right along that top part. Okay, now that all those pieces are added, I can put these dies away. Now I can add glue to the back of this main part of the face and head. And this is going to fit directly over the right ear and onto the face there. Then lastly, I can add some glue to the base of this other antler. And this is gonna go right above that top right ear. To enhance these little facial details, here for the eye, I'm gonna add a little dot of white gel pen where the indentation is. And then I'm gonna bring in some warm gray alcohol ink marker and just carefully run it along where the mouth is. I'll also go ahead and color this little indent area with that same WG3 that is on the ear of our sweet reindeer to help with any of the areas where that alcohol marker may have gotten where it wasn't supposed to just brought in my zero and went around the edge i decided there's not quite enough difference between this color of cardstock and the antlers so i'm bringing in a really dark warm gray which is wg7 and i'm just coloring over the top of this piece to really darken this ribbon and i'm going to do the same thing for our reindeer's nose. I'm just gonna darken that up a little bit. And then also for the eye portion of our little reindeer, you know, ideally I would have done this before I glued it on, but we're gonna just carefully do it now. So that is a good trick to remember that if you don't have a lot of different colors, you can always go in with your alcohol markers and create a darker shade of cardstock. I've added some glue to the back of our ribbon piece here, and I'm gonna take this right across our antlers here. I cut out the tops and bottoms of the ornaments from two different shades. So like I've got a dark red here for this ornament, and then I'm gonna put light red on top. You could do these in lots of different ways. Like I think this would also look really pretty in some pinks or more traditional reds and greens. I was kind of going with what was presented in the layering guide, um, except I wanted my bases to be just darker shades. And using my wax pickup tool makes it really easy. I can just add a tiny bit of glue to the back of the top of our ornament and 
glue it directly onto the little bow. I'm going to glue the right and the left one first because that makes it much easier for me to figure out where to put my center ornament. Cut out my holly from several different colors and so now I'm just going to layer these all up. They line up just right along the edges. Here I have our little bells. I cut these out of gold foiled cardstock and then I have our little berries. So first I'm going to start by adding our bells to one of these pieces of holly that we created. Just using my wax pickup tool to place them. And I'm going to add some of those berries right in between our little bells that we created. And then the other two I will do off on the sides. Now I can put those dies back and you can see I've got these two extra pieces of holly so I'm going to use them to kind of create a little bit of a, a semi wreath almost. So on the front of our card it's going to look something like this. Now you can see in the layering guide there are other ways that you could create your reindeer as well which is really fun. So you get lots of different looks with this set. I'm adding a little bit of shading to our holly where the embossed lines are just by running a WG1 right along those lines. I'm also going to come in and add a little bit of white gel pen detail onto our berries just where those embossed details are on the actual berries. All right, I've got everything laid out where I want it on my front card panel. This is cut to three and three quarters inches by five inches, and I know I wanna have a border around that. I'm gonna use a piece of paper from the North Pole double-sided pack here. You can see lots of really cute vintage style patterns and um, they just go great with this. I'm going to use this piece here that has the little postage stamps because you're just going to see like some fun breaks of color back behind our piece. I have all our pieces ready to go. I'm going to stamp out a sentiment from the Wonder of Christmas stamps and there are coordinating dies for this. I'm going to stamp this one that says wishing you all the magic of Christmas. I'll stamp this here in some intense black ink and because the line work on this sentiment is very very fine I am not pressing hard at all. I'll just do a couple of stampings. I'll cut this out with the coordinating die. I cut out two extra die cut layers so I'll just glue these all together by pinching around the edges once I've added the glue. Now we can put our background together. I've added glue to my white background piece and I'm just going to line this up so that there is a quarter of an inch border all the way around. And then I will glue this entire piece to our card base. I have everything where I want it. I'm going to start by gluing down my sentiment in the center. I've added some large foam squares to the back of my center holly piece and I'm just going to glue this front part to the neck of my reindeer. And you can see under my reindeer I put a little bit thinner of a foam tape. Now I can glue my holly back behind there. I'm going to trim off any of the pieces that go over that really thick tape though. And I actually switched out these pieces so that they're thin foam tape here. Just the thick one is in the center. So I'm going to remove this little piece of foam tape here and add my holly. And I want it to kind of curve up. So I'm going to make sure that it's curving up. I will do a little bit more trimming here. So you can see it took a little bit of surgery to get the halt done back around there, but now I can go ahead and remove the rest of this release tape. I also added some glue to the back of the leaves there and go ahead and lay that down. And these little leftover pieces that I trimmed off, I'm just going to kind of tuck these in here and there and fill out that beautiful holly. Lastly, I took a few of the North Pole gem stickers and I just added them right here at the tops of our pretty little ornaments. Okay, here is our finished card. It is super, super cute. I love this little reindeer and I did stamp a sentiment on the inside of my card as well from that same stamp set. This is going to be a fun holiday card to send. All right, guys, I hope you picked up some tips and tricks today. Please be sure to like and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell so that I can continue to bring you more crafty content in the future. Until next time, happy crafting.